Now the first thing we need is to have our extension in the context menu. And the creation of the context menu is very similar to what we saw in the budget manager extension. So we are going to start off with a menu item. So menu item is equal to, there's going to be an object. We're going to have an ID for this menu item. And this is going to be wicket. Then we can have a title. This is what is going to appear when you right click. So title is going to be wicket with an uppercase W. And then we can have the contexts. So where do we want this menu item to appear? When there is a selection. All right, now that we have our menu item, we can use the Chrome API, chrome.contextmenus.create and pass this menu item. So menu item. All right, now the next thing is I'm going to copy paste a function, fixed encode URI. And what this does is any text you select, it is going to prepare it in a format that can be appended to a URL. For example, we cannot, we cannot have blank spaces or some special characters and this function right here is going to take care of that. So now we can go ahead and listen when a user clicks on our context menu item. So chrome dot context menus dot on clicked dot add listener. So again, we, this is something we have already done and we are just going to go through it again. So click data is what it gives us. And we check if click data dot menu item ID equals equals wicket. So the ID of our menu item. And we need to check if there is some selection. So click data dot selection text. So once we have this ready, we can prepare our URL. So var wiki URL is equal to, now if you head over to Wikipedia, this right here is going to be the constant and polymer is the search term. So I'm going to paste this and then append, so plus, this is going to be fixed code URI and we pass in this selection text. So click data dot selection text. And I hope you can see that. All right, now that we have the selection text, we can create a new window with this URL. So var create data is equal to, is going to be an object. We specify the URL and this URL is nothing but the wiki URL we just created. And then we can have type. So this is going to be a pop-up window. So pop up and then we're going to specify the positioning from top it's going to be 5 and from the left it is going to be 5 again. Then we can also specify a width and a height. So width is going to be let's say screen dot available width so available width by 2. And then we're also going to have the height, H-E-I-G-H-T, and this is going to be screen dot avail height by two. So this is basically going to select a quadrant of the available screen width. So once we have this, we can just use Chrome dot windows dot create. We can specify this create data. And then I believe it needs a callback function but for now let's just leave it empty all right our extension is ready believe it or not I think we did it in under 10 to 15 minutes so anyway let's load this and see how it works so I'm going to extensions load and packed extensions I have wicket I select it and I have wicket over here with the icon all right now if you have a look wicket is grayed out and let me go over here I'm gonna close this so what was the word polymeric? So I'm going to right click and I get this option called wicket. And when I click on that, it's basically going to open a small window, basically one fourth the screen width, and it's going to give me the same information. So about polymers. So I can read whatever I want to and then just close it. And if I want another word, let's say aggregate, I can say wicket. I can read about that. And there you go. 
a very simple extension and I think uh, some I think some of you might find it useful but I got to warn you though a very similar extension but with even better functionality already exists in the Chrome store but anyway this is something you have created right so there you go our wicket extension all done